So you got your Pixhawk 4 all set up and it's flying and it's flying well. However, you still notice that on the sticks it's a little touchy or, or it's not quite as stable as you'd like and you want to make it fly better. Stay tuned because this video is going to teach you how. Auto tuning is a feature that is set up inside of Mission Planner and on the Pixhawk running PX4 you can auto tune. This process will go through and change dynamically the PIDs on how it should be set up for your copter specifically. So this is a really nice feature that you can use to get everything set up and working seamlessly. And for those of you who have been following know that I just set this Pixhawk 4 up here on my drone and it's been going really well except for I think I can get this to fly a little better. So right now I'm, following, I'm flying with default PIDs and we're gonna go ahead and set up auto-tune. So the first thing you need to do to do auto-tune is go into Mission Planner. And I've already got my Pixhawk connected as you can see, everything's set up. Once you're in Mission Planner, you can go ahead and go to Configure, Extended Tuning Parameters, and what I'm going to do, as you can see here in my radio, I'm gonna switch my channel seven I have as my landing gear. I'm gonna switch that to be auto-tune. So what happens is when you're flying, you can toggle to auto-tune, and then your copter will start dynamically changing its PIDs and rolls rate. And so if you look at Mission Planner here, this is what you're wanting to look at. Default 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 1.35, 1.35, 1.8. These different PIDs are going to be changing as we dynamically auto-tune this. So I'm gonna to go to RC7 output, change this to auto-tune, and write those parameters. So now, the next time I fly, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be able to use this switch right here Oh, it's telling me that my flight mode change failed. <laughs> but I'm going to be able to change that, and it'll flip to auto-tune. Let's see what happens if I do that. Flight mode change failed. It's probably because I'm not flying. Yep. It tells me right there. I love having this telemetry set up and all my messages in. If I page over, I can see everything that's coming in. If you don't know how to do this, if you're interested, I have a video on how to set this all up. And just check out my channel. I'll leave a link in the description. But anyways... So let's get this all charged up, take it out, and I'll show you what happens as I'm auto-tuning. So what's going to happen is once you get your drone in the air, you're going to toggle the auto-tune, and you're going to start to see your drone twitch like it is in the video here. What's happening is your Pixhawk is calculating the pitch and the well, it's starting with um, the roll, but it's going to go through all different motions and do the pitch, the roll, and the yaw to calculate the best PIDs for your configuration. Every drone is a little different because of the size, the weight, the different motors, the props, the prop pitch. All those kinds of things play a factor into having a drone that is steady and solid. As you can see here right now, the drone's going to do big motions and then it's going to do small, steady little twitch motions. And then from there, you're going to see it switch to the pitch. So we did the roll, now we're going to do the pitch, and again, that's going to be big motions. And you're going to want to make sure you do this on a very calm day. Zero wind, because obviously if you have wind, that's going to play a factor into what the flight controller is calculating. And what you can also do is once you get it in the air, as you can see, sometimes I'll bring the drone back, back to me because it has a tendency to drift. So once you toggle into auto-tune mode, you still can control your drone. So what I did is I took off, I put it in stabilize mode, which is what you're going to want to do, or alt altitude hold mode is actually what I think I have it in. Um, and then you're going to toggle to auto-tune and your flight controller is going to signal that as the actual flight mode that you are in. Now what you'll see is a quick glimpse of my radio and you can tell that the statistics are coming in.
it is really nice if you have this feature of telemetry on your drone to see all the different statistics coming in and everything that's happening. In total, this took me about 15 minutes, so you're gonna need to make sure that your drone is fully charged. Make sure it is very, very much charged. You don't wanna be up in auto-tune and all of a sudden it start falling out of the sky. But obviously, if you ever need to get yourself out of auto-tune, you can always toggle that off and you're fine to just fly your drone as is. Now, when you are successfully done auto-tuning, there are two ways to know that. Either one, your, you have telemetry set up like me, and my radio tells me auto-tune complete. Or, as you can see in the video, your drone just stops moving around like it was. It's just going to sit there, steady, rock solid. You can kind of fly around and get a feel for your new PIDs, and if you like them, once you land, all you need to do is disarm. Once you disarm, and then I always unplug and reboot just to be sure. Motors disarmed. But once you do that with your switch still in the auto-tune position, then your new PIDs will be saved. So that's the key. Keep your auto-tune on, land, disarm, reboot, and then once you turn it back on, you're good to go and you have new PIDs. Okay, so we're back here on the bench after our successful auto-tuning session we just had. And it took about 14, 15, 16 minutes, I can't remember. Um, obviously you're watching this video so I would have just told you, but it was around that amount of time. And so it does take a while. Make sure your battery is fully charged. Make sure your drone can last that long. Now, every drone might be different, I'm not sure. I've auto-tuned three or four drones now, and it seems to always take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your configuration. A couple things to note, make sure it's a really still day, no wind, make sure you're in a very big open area because it does tend to drift, just like all the things I have already explained to you. And let's open up Mission Planner here and check what we got. So go ahead and plug in your PixHawk. In my case, it's the PixHawk 4. And go ahead and connect it up to your computer. And you're going to go into Configure extended tuning and you'll notice look at my stabilized roll my stabilized pitch my stabilized yaw if you can remember all of those values were at 4.5 and look how much they've changed now with that being said i did do a quick flight after i did my auto tuning and i'm not a hundred percent happy with the results i got it's way more rock steady in loiter mode but I did notice a few vibrations and isolation isolated kind of like twitching um, that grew as I like hovered longer and so I'm wondering if that's just kind of a, a weight distribution thing I, I realized that I didn't really make sure my quad was a hundred percent balanced front to back as I'm like playing with it now in the shop and things like that so these rates I might play around with a little bit but I mean don't get me wrong this process worked really really well as far as making it better but I might auto tune it again and see what rates I get then and I can also you know take the two different rates I get and then put it somewhere in the middle and manually change these values. So it could be a little bit of a process, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out. And if it did, make sure you leave that thumbs up and leave some comments. Let me know what you think and be sure to subscribe because there is more content coming out and enjoy flying.